Hi, Grade 3! Welcome back to our online class. And our lesson for today is about surroundings. In this lesson, we're going to find out what are the Earth's natural resources, what are renewable and non-renewable resources, and last, how can we conserve our natural resources? First, we have the natural resources. The planet Earth is a good place to live in because it provides all that we need. It is rich in natural resources. Number one is the oxygen and carbon dioxide. So all living things such as plants, animals, and humans needed oxygen and carbon dioxide to live. So plants gives oxygen to human and animals for them to live and in return, humans and animals will give carbon dioxide to the plants. Next, number two, the Earth's surface is covered with numerous water forms. These water forms are homes to many animals and plants. Next, we all know that the Earth is the third planet in the solar system. The sun gives the right amount of sunlight for people, animals, and plants. The Earth's land is rich in mineral resources such as petroleum, oil, coal, metals, gemstones, and sand. Mineral resources are very important to modern living. Coal, oil, and natural gas are used as fuel to provide heat, light, and power. Some minerals are used as raw materials for making fabrics, plastic products, cars, refrigerators, and other things. The earth is rich in natural resources. Natural resources are materials in the environment that are important to people. Air, sunlight, water, soil, minerals, plants, and animals are the things that help support life. Natural resources are generally grouped into renewable resources and non-renewable resources. Renewable resources are resources that can be replaced when used. Plants and animals reproduce and replace themselves, so they are renewable resources. Plant and animal resources interact with one another. When one species is harmed or abused, the other living resources will be greatly affected. The excessive cutting of trees can affect the lives of other plants and animals, and also the quality of water and soil. Many renewable resources are living things, so they cannot be stored for a long time. Humans should not be careless in using renewable resources. If these resources are not utilized well, they will grow weak and eventually die. Some human activities disrupt the natural events that replace the renewable resources.
Now let's proceed to non-renewable resources. These are resources that cannot be replaced after they are used up. These are coal, oil, natural gas, petroleum, iron, and other metals. They are formed only after thousands or millions of years. Many non-renewable resources can be stored for a very long time. Once they are used up, they are gone forever. People should use these materials wisely and be careful not to waste them. Now let us have a quick check. Okay, so now I'm going to show you pictures and then you're going to identify if they are renewable resources or non-renewable resources. Are you ready? Okay, let's proceed to the first one. Oil. How about an oil? Is it renewable or non-renewable? Okay, let's check if your answer is correct. Very good. Oil is a non-renewable resource. Next one. How about a corn? Very good. A corn is a plant and then we all know that plant is a renewable resource. Next one. How about a coal? Very good. It is a non-renewable resource. How about this one? Tree. Very good. Tree is a renewable resource. Next one, how about water? Very good, water is a renewable resource. And next one, how about air? Very good, air is a renewable resource. Very good. The life of many non-renewable resources, such as metals, can be extended when we recycle them. Do you know how to recycle? Okay, very good. Metals are now called recyclable resources. They are used, recycled, and reused. So, recycling is a process in which some materials from non-renewable resources are being used again. Okay? Okay, we can extend the life of many non-renewable resources through recycling. For example, we have paper, so you can make it into paper mache. Next one, for example, you have empty glass bottles. You can make it into vases. And next one, we have uh, empty cans. You can make it into whatever you want. Okay, for example, decorations and so on. The earth now has a limited amount of natural resources due to population increase and technological advancement. You must be careful and wise in using these materials. So you should practice conservation. Okay, so when we say conservation, it is the careful use of natural resources. Both renewable and non-renewable resources should be conserved. 
without conservation, most of our natural resources would be wasted, degraded, and destroyed. Okay, here are some activities which are helpful in conserving our natural resources. Number one, keep farmlands productive. Next, protect our forests. Next one, save the wilderness areas and wildlife from human destruction. And next one, find ways to develop and use mineral resources without damaging the environment. And last, work together to improve city life by seeking solutions to air pollution, waste disposal, and urban decay. So for your home exercise, give five ways on how to promote health and maintain cleanliness at home and in school. Write it on your science notebook. And last, show your idea on how to use our natural resources wisely by composing a short jingle or song. And that's it. You're so awesome this day. Again, this is Teacher Ivy. And thank you for watching. God bless you and stay safe.